Happy Tuna Tuesday, everybody. Welcome back. Mia says hi, and it is time for a Pounds for Purrs workout. Today, to say the least, was very interesting, and there are a couple of reasons for this. First one being that I got very little sleep last night. I think I went to bed around 2. I think that's when it was, and then I woke up at like 4.10, 4.15, and while I was hoping to get back to sleep, it just wasn't happening, so I was really restless, just kind of tossing and turning and just watching the clock tick and, well, metaphorically, and watching just the time pass and pass and pass, and then it came time for me to decide, well, do I want to work out in the morning or... Do I want to try to sleep and then get to the gym in the afternoon? And I went with the former. So I figured I'm up. It's probably a good idea just to stay up now. And later on I might crash. But I went to the gym and I started off with uh, an elliptical warm up. So I was on the elliptical for a half mile. Same as usual. It took about five minutes I believe. And then I headed over to the platform. And so what you're seeing now is the hang snatch. So I did all the typical ones that I usually do, 45, 55, 65. And then I decided to add another one with 75 before I got into working sets for full snatch with 85. So I increased another 10 pounds to 85. And looking back, I think what I might do instead of this is still do three triples up to 65. And then when I go for 75, I'll use that as a warm-up double before getting to working sets. I think that might be a little bit better. Now, here's a, sl a bad set. This is a bad set. <laughs> that was bad bar positioning. And then the second one is unstable. That that's, wasn't as bad as I thought it was, as at least as it felt. But that opening rep was definitely not good so I decided not to count that set redid set number two and then I went from there thankfully these actually in review are not as bad as I thought they were I re I was nodding off during the workout I was just kinda just not in it I was just not mentally engaged I was not focused I didn't really have much of any energy so it, was, it felt like I was going in slow motion and these are actually slow. They really, really are. They're not quite as bad as I thought they were, but they are slow. So it looks like I'm literally just pulling into the high pull and then just trying to drop down to the bottom. But they're actually better than I, I thought they were. They're, they're certainly better than they felt. They felt very slow, sluggish, off-timed. And so thankfully, they're not that bad. They're still not ideal. They're not what they should be. But, to be fair, I thought they were a lot worse. So, I'll accept the rest of these sets for what they are, and they're, they're okay. They're okay, maybe borderline decent. They do pick up a little bit towards sets 7 and 8. So, that's when they started to clean up a bit and started to get a little bit better. And another reason why today was interesting is just because, and a bit of a struggle, is because I didn't get water any water until after clean and jerk so between the uh, competition lifts and the strength lifts that's when I was able to get water so there's also that on the plus side I kept the pace that I really want to so 90 seconds in between sets and even between exercises oh and for here for set 8 I did the set but since I kept the phone rolling, it actually cut off because it has a limit, I believe, of five minutes recording before it automatically shuts off. And that's through the app that I was using. So that's something I completely didn't know until after the fact. And here's a bonus set just because I wanted to feel better about snatching. So I added another set on top of the eight that I had already done. And of course, that doesn't count the initial set to which I just could not accept as a working set so there's that I did a little extra just to kind of reinforce a better um, better technique then for clean and jerk 135 so I added 20 pounds and these same thing they they felt weak they felt slow you can pretty much see it but similarly to snatch not 
quite as bad as I thought they were, but still definitely not ideal. De definitely not where they should be. So, and what's really funny about this is I barely remember the workout. I know I did it, and I do remember parts of it, like pockets here and there, but there are parts of the workout that I really just don't remember. And so going through the videos and editing them and stitching them together, I actually had to really watch it a, a few times in order to really try to recollect what the set was like. Usually with a workout, I could tell you details. It could be hours later and I could still tell you details about the lifts and the exercises and everything. And today it's just scattered and there are parts that are just kind of almost like blank spots. So I got home and the first thing I did was eat. I ate and I still haven't slept, but I've rested. So I'm uh, feeling a little bit better and I'll be fine. I'll be one, I'll be absolutely fine by tomorrow. But it just was one of those days where eh, it wasn't the, the greatest of workouts, but certainly I've had worse. So I'm not going to complain too much about it, but it is what it is. And I got through it. And like I said, I managed to keep the pace that I actually that I really wanted to this whole time. So 90 seconds in between every set, even between exercises. Now that might be a bit much going from the last snatch double to the first clean and jerk single. I should probably give it a couple minutes, but especially today, I didn't want to rest for too long just because I might actually just completely drop off. And so I wanted to get the work done while I still had any semblance of energy to get through it. So I really didn't want it to delay or anything like that. And even between clean and jerk and front squat, 90 seconds, hard 90 seconds, I was right at the barbell every time for every set. So when I saw that 90 seconds complete, I went for the lift just because I wanted to get it done and over with and I just wanted to get home really. So for the strength lifts, these are fine. These are absolutely fine. These of course are easier. They don't require that same explosiveness that the Olympic lifts require. And so I can kind of get through these without having to put as much effort into them. And I am still going pretty light. So we're talking 155 for each. And I got through them and they're, they're fine. I really don't have any complaints. I even held the last rep of the set of each set for front squat. Started off a little bit longer and then as the sets went on I <laughs> didn't hold it for as long so I started to cut it just a little bit shorter and then it didn't really mean all that much to me to, to do like a, a rest pause but got the reps done. These are absolutely fine. There's nothing wrong with these and by the time I was getting water it was just too late so uh, I was happy to at least hydrate halfway through, but it, it took until then in order to do so. So, a couple things, but uh, I'll be out this way for a couple more days, so I'll be back again on Thursday to do it again, and then Saturday to repeat it. So, hopefully those will be better days, and they probably will be, and then we'll go from there. Whether or not I'll do a jump next week in weights, I don't know. Oh, and also, by the way, you probably noticed the editing is a little odd. I just put in a little bit of extra um, clips at the beginning and a little at the end. So you can see me being tired and trying to at least somewhat wake up. <laughs> so you'll see me like taking breaths or like trying to pull the slack out of the bar. And usually when you see that, you see like almost like a little bit of aggression behind it to pull the slack. And then today I was like, eh, just kind of. Let me see if I can just pull the slack out and see if I can get everything tight and uh, ready to go. But it's actually, looking back, I, I'm just laughing at it. It's just funny to me because you can see me putting my hands on my hips. Uh, I don't ever do that. So f for the fact that I was doing that here and there was, uh, was a sight because I just normally don't do that regularly but I was just out of it I was tired I just couldn't concentrate I couldn't really put power behind my movements so <laughs> I put my hands on my hips a few times I believe and so that's just how it goes sometimes and this is the time of year it's getting colder out the weather's changing and it's going to be more and more difficult getting good workouts in but I will certainly do what I can when I can and for the time being, sticking with just three days a week, keeping it simple, keeping it 
just to the four exercises. I really don't know if I'll be putting anything in addition to these workouts like I did at the beginning. And, um, and we'll see where I go from here. I definitely will be doing this program for all of December, January. When we get to February, I really don't know. It really all kind of depends. I'm starting to toy around with the idea of getting back to at least 135 for the snatch. And then at least, at the very bare minimum, 225 for clean and jerk. I really want to get both lifts up, really. But if I think about a bit about ratios and I think a little bit about goals, I definitely want my snatch to get back up to 135. It used to be much higher than that. But coming back to things and just kind of adapting, I think I'll set it around 135, which is certainly doable. Should be. And whether or not that's singles or doubles, we'll kind of see when it comes along. All right, everyone. That's the workout. I'll see you all again in a couple days. And remember, adopt, don't shop.